Hi hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, we'll be doing my July 2022 completed coloring book pages. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Okay, so in previous months, I've segmented this video by bookshelves. That will not be happening this month because I actually didn't get into a lot of books. And so um, after this bit of chatty intro, then we'll just actually get right into the pages that I completed for this month. And I'm happy with what I've completed. Uh, I did lean into quite a few of my other hobbies, so you know, I felt productive and creative. And then we'll end this video with uh, my reference journal just to check some things off. So let's just get started. Um, and the way that I'm doing this is segmented basically by size. <laughs> so it's come, uh, uh, whenever I complete a picture, I tag it with a purple tag and I turn it on its side so that when I do this particular video every single month, everything's organized, ready to go. And so that when I edit, as I transition in and out of different books, it just makes it as, um, enjoyable a viewing experience for you guys as I can make this. So this is my ongoing group buddy color with my girls, Emma, Erica, and Poet. For this month, uh, the theme was any color palette except for red. I specifically chose this picture for two reasons. I believe it was the next in line. Yes. But also, it went for Olga Rani's uh, Finding Color Prompt of Glasses, and also for Poet Spices uh, Gents for June and July. And so, again, the color palette was anything but red, and so this is a picture that I did. Um, I didn't really have a color palette going in other than I knew what I couldn't use. And so it kind of reflects that. His skin actually has quite a bit of layers on it. And I kind of like that look where you go with some medium tones, some dark tones, and then you go over it with a light tone when you're using alcohol markers because then it pulls some of that um, bottom layer colors up and it gives it sort of a mottled look. And for these kind of characters, I like the skin, even with uh, the rope here. I did the same thing and then I used some white jelly roll pen uh, to just give a little bit more definition to the clouds. There's actually some up here um, but I, I couldn't quite make it out so I just colored it um, all in blue and I I could have brought the blue down but I kind of liked how how that looked and Unlike some of the other pages, there is no text on here uh, just because I, I didn't feel it needed. Some of the other ones I feel that it does, but this one I, I thought it looked good just on its own. And then there's some uh, glossy accents for the glasses here. And I don't know how it looks on camera. I'll see that when I'm editing, but in person, they just, they look really nice. But this is Vassal Psycho's uh, Reptiloids coloring book. This I also colored in. Uh, it's actually the first picture. Uh, this could have gone for Lavella and T's Color Your Horde. I don't know if I put it on Instagram for that, but it doesn't matter. Um, this I colored for Poets uh, Gents for June and July, as well as Olga's Find in Color for Glasses. Uh, I think this guy is from Atlantis. I didn't write it down, but I had to look who this guy was. At first, I thought it was the guy from 101 Dalmatians, but I don't think he has glasses. And so I just had to look a Disney male character with glasses, and eventually I, I found him. <laughs> it was a really a quick color. I did use some of my gel highlighters behind here. They're sort of like a gelato or like a silky crayon. Uh, they're not a highlighter like a Bic or a mild liner. Um, and so I did uh, put it on paper directly and then use a Q-tip. I don't know that I'll use that method again. Um, I might need to get some like eyeshadow applicators that have a little bit of a wider uh, base 
so that I can really press in. But I, I like the overall effect and I did put alcohol marker on top of that. So that darker color that you see is actually alcohol marker. So it, it does work. I don't see any kind of smudging here, so it doesn't move. Uh, it's the reason why I don't have pan pastels is because I don't wanna have to do additional treatments, but it was a, a quick color and it was a fun color. And so it's out of this, the mini block portraits by Hache Heroes. I did complete a picture out of this Matchstick Mouse, a summer coloring book. And this goes towards my own hashtag. Um, the prompt for the Morgan O'Brien scavenger hunt, actually it's the Morgan O scavenger hunt 2022 prompt for July was smile. And so I chose this guy right here. Both the mouse and his little friend are smiling as they are fly fishing. And again, a really easy, quick color Amazon base book that are single sided. And I think the ones that I have are um, are generally alcohol marker that is my preferred medium to choose uh, just because it's the, the least taxing on my hands and then the text on here because I do like to put text on the Morgan O'Brien coloring book pages is fishing was so much fun when hanging out with friends until a fish was caught then it was totally gross <laughs> But that's my completed page out of this one, Matchstick Mouse, a summer coloring book by Morgan O'Brien. Uh, I didn't mention this, but any channels that I um, have done buddy colors with, whether here on YouTube or on Instagram, I will have all of their uh, links uh, linked in the description box below. This was a buddy color with my friend Emma of Emma Colors 2020. Uh, uh, at the filming of this, uh, I don't think she's completed hers, but with my buddy colors, it's really uh, when the mood strikes us, that's when we're going to complete our pictures. And, and I've, I've told her that. Now, <laughs> when we were setting this up, I told her, I would either have it done in the first week of July or I'd have it in the last week of July because I knew I wanted to complete a picture in here for July. And the reason I said that was because it went for a prompt for Olga. And so, yeah, and she knew me well enough that she knew that I was going to have it done by the first week of July because the Olga prompt was books. And so this is the Daddy Long Legs page. Um, this was finished by the 4th of July. I used Ohuhu water-based markers, uh, dual hybrid metallic pens, glaze pens, Prismacolor. This went for the find and color of book, as well as my own hashtag that's carrying out through the year, fairy tales and stories for Johanna 2022. Um, I like a lot of times replicating the the picture that's already been done by the artist because it just helps me uh, figure out a lot of times lighting source like with my opal books um, I like trying to replicate because then um, it's sort of like when I'm journaling or I'm writing down notes and whatnot the act of doing it kind of makes it sticky in my head and so it's sort of like a lesson to me so this this makes sense on why the light is hitting her that way and so if I ever have a picture like this in the future where there isn't a reference picture next to it uh, I can kind of bring back this picture and why things were hitting the way they are because a lot of times I don't actually care but um, it to me the challenge is not making it look identical because there are certainly differences but treating this sort of as a lesson if, if that makes any sense <laughs> but I had fun with it I think it looks really pretty and I actually really like this coloring book so this is by Doming and this is World of Fairy Tales and I did get this from Amazon Japan. All right guys, <laughs> this page right here, oh my goodness. So this is The Way Home by Morgan O'Brien. It's the little baby Yoda uh, coloring uh, book that he has done. And this, it was, uh, it's just a train wreck after a train wreck after a train wreck. And so I didn't have a plan. Now I have seen you guys do this page for July because this was the group buddy color uh, for July um, and do this phenomenally where this little chicken lizard guy just looks 
amazing. And so I put a layer of color down. I'm like, nah, I don't know that I like it. And I put another layer and another layer and another layer. Honestly, I don't, okay, look, that actually looks more interesting to me than the guy on the front. But there are so many different colors on here because I could not figure out what to do with him. And eventually he receded so much uh, in the page, which was never my intention, that I went with a, a white jelly roll around him. And then I put a highlighter on top of that because I didn't want the white to show. I wanted another color to show. I think the baby Yoda looks adorable, but he is just like, ugh, I need this drink because woman, what did you do? do <laughs> so i'm sorry chicken lizard but uh, the text on this page says grogu loved partying with his favorite chicken lizard angus angus had the tastiest snacks and the best stories about mondo this is the way and if you've never seen this uh, show on disney plus um, mondo is the mandalorian he's the the big tall guy um, there's actually, I don't think any pictures of Mondo or Mandalorian in here, but yeah, they're just hanging out, uh, eating snacks and talking about their friend. But that's the chicken lizard for July. The August page that I chose is this one right here. And this can actually do twofold. It definitely goes for the Grogu in 2022, but also goes for the Morgan O scavenger hunt because the prompt for August is sun, moon, or stars. So any page from any Morgan O'Brien coloring book that has a sun or a moon or some stars on it will count towards that hashtag. Now I did not film that uh, chicken lizard guy for July and as much as I can, I will try and, and film this the group buddy color pictures with you guys, but I've learned um, over the years that if I am not in the headspace to film, then it does neither of us any good because then you'll be able to hear it and I don't want to waste either of our time. So whether I, I, I color this with you guys remains to be seen, but this is the group buddy color. If you've already completed this page prior to August, go ahead and post it to Grogu in 2022. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you guys completion of this particular page. And that is The Way Home, a galactic coloring book by Morgan O'Brien. Uh, if you are new here, you're going to notice a theme that Olga Rani drives a lot of my coloring pages, and this book is no exception, uh, because I like her weekly and her monthly prompts. Uh, during the summer of 2022, that has changed slightly, so it's bi-monthly, and then her actual monthly prompt spans for three months, so currently it's Medusa, and uh, it's going to you can submit your pages to Olga uh, up and through the end of August for the, the, the summer prompt, that's how I'm, I'm terming it, uh, for Medusa. So, you know, public service announcement. <laughs> but I, the reason I say that is because this page was completed for Olga Rani's prompt of glasses. Uh, these goggles counted towards that. This is Kristen Karen's Characters Through Worlds and Time. And I think she's really pretty. I go into these pages without any kind of clue uh, on colors. So I just kind of put things down and then work around that. So I worked on her skin and then I worked on her hair and I'm like, okay, what colors will look good with that? And that's kind of how I build pages. On here, there's Mondo Llama and Ahuhu alcohol markers. There's Tombow alcohol marker pros. There's some butt funners. And then I didn't write it down because this I actually did at work. Uh, but then the, the, accents that I put on here. There's some glossy accents there and then there's some stickles in the goggles because all of those alcohol markers I have at work. And then this is from a little quotes uh, sticker book that I have from Tim Holtz. I did pick this up from Amazon and I just, I didn't feel like writing on here. So I just used this, found something that I thought would work. May the future be known for its kindness, uh, just to 
kind of take away from the background because you guys know me if I can get away with text on a page and it's my book so I absolutely can uh, then I don't feel a need to fill up the space with any kind of additional imagery or colors or anything that's that's sufficient to me you guys know I generally don't link things in my videos so if there's any coloring book or any products that you see that you would like a, a link to just let me know in the comment section below but otherwise that's my completed page out of this characters through worlds and times by Kristen Karen. This was a buddy color with my friend uh, Megan from Disney Megs. I'll link her channel below. Uh, this could have counted towards Lavella and T's Color Your Hoard because it actually was the very first page I completed in here. But we colored this one right here. And this was for Meg's ABC Color Challenge. Although now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know that I posted this to Instagram. Or maybe I did. Maybe I did in the beginning of the month. Yeah, I don't remember. And I didn't write it down um, what the, the prompt was. Because she chooses the letter. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> but it's Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Uh, this counted towards uh, fairy tales and stories for Johanna. It is predominantly alcohol marker because it is a single-sided book. And then there's a lot of white gel pen on here. But other than that, I don't see a lot of other accents. And, and I say that because I didn't write it down. I didn't even write it down when I finished it. I just know I finished it in July. It's actually one of the first, oh no, it was for book. I think this went towards Olga Rani's book challenge, but I didn't write that down either. But I know I, I knew I could use this for multiple things. But it was fun and I liked working in here. Although, yeah, I think the, um, the sky was done in ink tents, water, uh, the ink tents paint pens. That's what it is. Yeah, because you can't see it on the other side. But it was really fun. I look forward to coming in here again. I've already marked another page because for Pixie's Disney coloring, the prompt for August is Raya. And I believe this is the only Raya page in here. In fact, I looked through all of my Disney books and I think this is the only Raya page I have. But if you don't have a Raya page and you wanna participate, you can also um, do a baby page, I think she said, a monkey page or a dragon page. And so I do have some things in mind uh, to go towards that. But this is Tour du Monde from Hache Heroes. I did pick this up from um, Lyrica. Again, if you're interested in any of the books that I've referenced, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to uh, link it for you guys. This is a newer book for me. I did purchase this back in June 2022. This is Kokowayo's Modern Witches and I completed a page here. Uh, this wasn't a buddy color and it actually wasn't even an Olga Rani prompt. <laughs> But um, I did color this for my hashtag, Fairy Tales and Stories. Uh, with that hashtag, it goes through the end of 2022. And a bonus challenge would be to use the colors pink and green. So that's why I specifically chose this color palette. Uh, I do enjoy Coco Wayo's books. In fact, I have three now. And uh, I love how this looks. I specifically left these flowers very flat. There is some shading and whatnot with the rest of it, but the flowers I just wanted to leave as is. And I actually really like the color combo of pink and yellow. And so this just, it, it makes me happy just looking at this. But this is a Shuttle Art Alcohol Markers Ohuhu a Glaze Pen Dual Hybrid Metallic some deli crayons that I got from Pixie and some glossy accents in her eyes. I can say that uh, using the deli crayons on top of the alcohol marker, um, I don't know that I like that effect, so I don't know that I'll be using that uh, again. And generally when it comes to my alcohol marker books, which is generally Amazon books, uh, if I'm doing any kind of shading or layering, more often than not, it's with other alcohol markers versus any kind of uh, other type of pen or pencil.
But that's my completed page out of this, a Modern Witches by Coco Wayo. This was a buddy color with my girl, uh, Patty. Um, I'll link her channel below. We completed two pages in here. We've got two pages set up for August and um, I think she only has a few more pages left of this. So I think August and September, we might be able to finish up, or at least she will, because I think there's pages in here that I have not colored that she has. Um, and then we also both have the um, beautiful faces or whatever from Ikuko, and so we might start working in that together. Now, I actually have three of these pages flagged, and I'll talk about that in just a bit. So this is one of our pages, this one right here. I really like how this came out. I used my Inktense paint pans for the background, and I colored all of the background to include the flowers, and then I made some of the flowers and elements pop by using some glaze pen alcohol marker for her. Um, her wings were a mistake. I did pick up some Spectrum Noir sparkle pens and I thought one of them was a clear pen but it was silver and so the the wings are actually darker than I had anticipated because underneath is all alcohol marker work but I actually kind of like how it looks and I like how her face pops. I've got glossy, uh, glossy accents for her eyes and then the text on her page is a single dream is is worth more than a thousand realities and that is by J.R.R. Tolkien. Now the reason why I have three in here is because this was a random color generator video that I did in July and this was also done with my non-dominant hand and in that video I said that I would do the other image like this because this uh, book does have doubles uh, with the same color palette and see what I could come up with so this was the one that I did with you guys in the video and I really like how it looks and this is the one that I did with the same colors um, but with my regular hand. And to be honest, for the most part, I definitely like this one better. I enjoyed it more. I think some of the Im um, images on the page stand out more. But uh, the only thing that I liked better on here was her transition uh, fading like that, I think looks a lot better here because the color that I used here was a lot lighter. I used a darker color for the mirror and so it's a little jarring with her, her face just floating there because it does definitely look like a face and an arm. This, because it fades, I think, nicer, um, Mentally, I can kind of imagine that her body's there. This one, it just, it sticks out weird. But I do like the hair better on this. I do like the frame better on this. In fact, uh, I actually like that part until we get into here, but there was no uh, grayscale for her body. So that was left blank. And so because I just followed the lines, um, yeah, it just, it looks a little jarring. I do like this version in that area specifically better but I, I do think it's it's a really pretty image and so while I generally don't color the same image twice I thought this would be an interesting exercise to see um, what I could do with that same color palette with the same image and actually yeah I when I finished filming this video, I did this page right here because they were both done on July 29th. So it was a rather quick color. There's only five um, markers and a white alcohol or a white jelly roll pen. And those are the only things that I used on this. The text I put here was, all I am is smoke and mirrors. And that is by Tuomas Holopinen. I just find things on the internet. Uh, Patty and I do have two set up, so we're going to be doing this one here and this one here. And like I said, I think she's nearly done with this book, and so we'll go to our um, other Ikuko book after she's done. And then I'll just play some catch up with the ones that I have not completed yet. And so this is Surreal Fantasy by Ikuko. I did complete a page out of this. This is Medusa Dollmaker's coloring book. There's actually no other name on here. And I 
did this because, as I mentioned earlier, Olga Rani does have a prompt for Medusa for the summer. And so there's Medusa right here. This is Athena from Greek mythology. And Athena generally has Medusa either on her little necklace thing here, or more often than not, I've seen it on her shield and so uh, this worked this is some acrylic paint in the background uh, like a shiny metallic kind of paint there's a, a few layers of different ones and then uh, this is done predominantly in alcohol marker and then on top of that there is some a glaze pen just to bring a bit of a sheen to certain aspects. I do like putting alcohol marker beneath uh, areas that I want to use glaze pen on just because it can change the tone plus you can also get some shading done and then because the glaze pen is effectively clear but colored um, then you can still see um, anything that you've highlighted or give, given some depth and shadow to below. Now that this says Medusa, it's just because that's the artist's name, um, but this is why I chose this page specifically for that right there. And then I use some more of those Tim Holtz uh, stickers, and it says, never doubt your instinct, stronger than yesterday, just breathe, be you bravely, and with brave wings, she flies. And so I really like the look of this. I have yet to submit this to Olga. I'm gonna just compile all of the ones that I've done and do it all at one time. But yeah, this is for Finding Color Medusa. It also goes towards my own hashtag of fairy tales and stories. And if you're wondering what uh, can be counted towards fairy tales and stories, it's basically anything. So it's any coloring page from any coloring book. It's any journaling spread. It's any planning spread. It's any craft. Really, I just wanted things to be put on the internet that had my name on it fairy tales and stories for Johanna because I turned 50 a few weeks ago. <laughs> but this is a coloring book by Medusa Dollmaker and that's my completed page in it. This was a buddy color with my girl Deb of Instagram. We already have another one set up for August. This is the page that I did and I loved her. I still love her. I think her colors are pretty. And I knew I wanted to add some pink, so I added some pink to the background because, again, this goes towards my own hashtag, uh, Fairy Tales and Stories for Johanna. And again, it's not required, but you can add an additional challenge element by adding pink and green to the page. Now, where it kind of went sideways, I don't hate it. In fact, I think it's interesting. But where it went sideways is I uh, did the frame that was already on the page in black. And then I'm like, oh, let's be creative and let's do some things. And then I did this sort of grade with watercolor. And I don't know that I like it, but I don't know that I don't. I added some uh, shimmer to the pink. And yeah, I, for me, I don't know if I should have tried to frame this out. I don't know if I should have gone all the way to the edges. I'm not sure if this is like a portal to another dimension or what. I don't, I don't know exactly what this story is telling me, but it is telling me a story. But it's in a language I don't understand, so that's, that's why it's baffling me a little bit. But I did add some text to the page, and it says, A dream itself is but a shadow, and that's by William Shakespeare. And so this was a fun buddy color. Go ahead and check out Deb's uh, Instagram page for hers, because of course, as always, it's beautiful. And then the page we're going to be doing for August is this one right here. And so this is Ladies of Leisure number three, and this is by Zan Von Zed. I did complete a page out of this. This is Drawing with Christopher Hartz, the manga artist coloring book, Girls. Um, and my girl Pixie actually told me that this artist has two more books and I think there's one coming out soon um, until I complete more pages out of here I, I mean I want the other ones but I'm, I'm not going to pick them up until I have more done but I did complete this one here and this was actually it wasn't necessarily a quick color even though there's it's a very simple page um, and that's just because the background is done with ink 
intense paint pans. I love using those things because it just goes on rather quickly. And then on top of that, uh, I did some more intense paint and then I used some alcohol markers. I used some of my twin tone Tombow pens not specifically this one, but I use this kind of pen because of the felt tip right there. And then she's done in alcohol marker. And I just, I, I thought it was really pretty. Again, it's one of those things, I started with the background, so I did follow uh, the advice of Doodle Robot. Doodle Robot uh, recommends doing your background first because then you kind of set the tone, because I've done it the other way, where I've done the foreground and then I don't know what to do with the background. So I knew I was gonna do the background in tones of green, and then I wanted her to really stand out, so I used some, um, contrasting colors by way of pinks and oranges and I think she looks really pretty plus uh, I don't know if she's supposed to be a fox or a cat but I was kind of uh, playing into the fox kind of colors and then I wanted him to stand out from her so that's why he's in the tones that he's in and they're looking at something that is not very pleasant to them and so uh, I put no not broccoli but then after I have put this down and taken the picture I realized this would have actually been more appropriate to say no not Monday because this was done on Friday July 29th that was the last day of my vacation and I was going back to work and have since gone back to work on August 1st I can tell you I wasn't looking forward to it. <laughs> but I really like this page. I really like this book. And I look forward to coming in here again. But that is my completed page out of this. Uh, the Manga Artist Coloring Book, Girls by Christopher Hart. This lovely book was gifted to me by Pixie of Pixie's Projects. It was a birthday gift. This is Chroma's uh, Aria Veil. Vale. And this was the picture that I completed. Pixie is doing a, it's not even a year long because it actually goes for 14 months. But every month she is choosing a picture to complete in here. And once the 14 months are, are done, so uh, if she started it in July, it will be done by, I believe, October, 2023. But by October, 2003, if you're following along with this, you will have a completed coloring book because there's only 14 images in here. And so this one was the one she chose for July. Uh, this actually went for several hashtags, as you can see. So the hashtag for this particular book is Complete Aria Veil. Vale. That's by Pixie Projects. Uh, for Pixie's Disney Coloring Challenge for July, it was Rabbit from Money the Pooh. So you could do any Rabbit from Money the Pooh page. You could do any Winnie the Pooh page, or you can do any rabbit page. And so this would have counted towards that as well. Uh, this uh, would have counted towards July Color Your Horde by T and Lavella, because this is the first page I completed in here. And of course, um, and this counts towards my own hashtag, fairy tales and stories for Johanna. Plus there's some added challenge of the pink and green. Again, that's absolutely optional, but pink and green is my favorite color combination. And so this was done uh, predominantly an alcohol marker, but I do see a little bit of glaze pen in the lanterns right there. It wasn't a quick color by any means, but it was a fun color. And the page that she chose for August is this one right here in her video she does mention that it gives her kind of registration back to school vibes and that's why she chose this and so this is the one i'll be working on for this month and so this is chroma's aria veil vale. and uh, again on a monthly basis you should be seeing this because i will be following along with her monthly prompt this was a group buddy color. This is Magical Beauties number two by Christina McAllister. And this was done with Pixie and Poet. Now Pixie, Poet, and I believe Deb, uh, we've got two, I don't wanna say they're gonna be done in August. I think I'll get at least one done. I don't know if I'll get both of them done. Um, but this is the one that uh, Pixie and Poet and I did for July. And this is Temple Guardian. 
And again, it wasn't necessarily a quick color, even though it's a heavily grayscaled book, but it was a very fun color. Um, and I just like the colors on here. Uh, because of the grayscale in here, uh, I think it makes it look very dynamic and all of that stone looking work that was already on the page. Uh, I, you should definitely check out Pixie and Poets. I don't know if that it's on their Instagram. Uh, I know that Pixie's already done her completed pages. I don't know if Poet has, at least I don't remember seeing it yet. Um, but you definitely should check them out because I loved their renditions as well. But it was a fun color. And then the ones that uh, have been earmarked for us, I don't know when, I just, I know we're, we said we'll do these, is uh, this one right here. So Queen of the Damned. And then this one right here, which is Dream. And this one, it's gonna be interesting because I can see this uh, going towards M. Bean's One Color Challenge and just using ombre of a various tone. But I can also see this literally as just one like alcohol marker on here and then just really playing up the gray the black and the white so i'm not exactly sure oh no i don't need i can't take that off i'm not exactly sure how i'm going to tackle this page but i think it can be really interesting but yeah that is magical beauties a coloring book book two by christina McAllister. I completed a page out of this Gothic Compendium. Uh, this is from Coloring Heaven. And I, I want to say, yeah, this is the very first page I completed out of here. So this could have gone towards Labella and T's uh, color your horde. I don't know that I've posted it. Yeah, no, I know I didn't post this picture on Instagram, but I completed this page right here. This I did for Corey's alphabet challenge. For that alphabet challenge, uh, the prompt was L for the month of July. And so it's three alcohol markers that begin with L. That's how I'm approaching this challenge. And so this is light pink, lime green, and light violet. And with a limited color palette like that, you, you just basically have to pick and choose your lane. It actually worked out perfectly because of the color palette, it works towards my own uh, hashtag. Uh, I don't know how many times I've, I've said it now, but fairy tales and stories for Johanna. And uh, this also could have gone for a Potato Princess and Zombie Girls. Is it zombie girls yeah zombie girls hollow new year this goes for l is for july 2022 um and then also this could have gone for tammy or fantasy for tammy's 50th i'm really bad at posting to instagram so when i'm saying things go for certain hashtags it's because in my mind it gives me a way to focus on particular pages it's not necessarily because i'm also posting it to instagram uh and the text on her page says i will not say do not weep for not all tears are evil and that is also by J.R.R. Tolkien. Again, I just look for certain themes by way of quotes, and then I put on a page, and that way I don't need to do a background. But I think she looks stunning. And this is a uh, picture by uh, Ines Guerrero. Her name is Purple Emily. So I guess uh, if you want to, you can look it up on the internet to see what she actually is supposed to look like. But yeah, I just went with the color palette that I had and I think she looks really pretty. But it also is the first page in here. So when I get into my reference journal, I can check one off for this. But this is Coloring Heaven's Gothic Compendium. Now, this was a bunny color with my girl, uh, Chelsea, of Chelsea's Creative Journey. She recently, like in the last couple months, changed her channel name, but it's Chelsea, so I'll link her channel below. This is a coloring book from Coloring Heaven, uh, All Images by Enos Guerrero. I'm going to tell you right now, this is probably one of my favorite pictures in the history of ever. I loved um, Chelsea's page. In fact, Chelsea's page was the inspiration for this one. I had no idea how I was going to tackle this and it was getting towards the end of the month uh, before I even started and she had sent me her completed page and hers is, her girl is, has this, I don't even know what she used. I don't know how she did it, but the hair, it looks like the middle of a flame where it's that bright vivid um 
red orangey color and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous and so I I knew this is one of the pictures that I was going to post to Instagram and I want it to there to be contrast and yet it's the same picture so I wanted them to be similarities and so I decided to make her hair white ish because actually it's tones of gray and then I whited out the lines with white jelly roll and then bring in the kind of red smoky flame uh, to the back of it so that she really stands out and this back portion here and of course I didn't write it down oh no oh no I didn't um this was done with a variety of ink tents paint pans again you guys know i've been loving that but also some of a metallic watercolor paint i use alcohol markers as well on top of that and then i did some glaze pen on top of that really just to bring up the colors um, the black glaze pen is one of my favorite and you can see there's some tones here where it really she almost looks sinister to me and I, I'm just I'm loving the look of this page I think she's just so beautiful I absolutely am amazed by uh, Chelsea's because again the, the way that her hair looks it, it just it seems to glow with from within but in a, in a, I don't know what she used. I don't know how she achieved that color range, but it was, it's just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> but I'm happy that I completed this. This is Hikate, Hikate. Uh, I'm not exactly sure who she is. She's from some kind of mythology, I'm pretty sure. But that's my completed page out of this, the very first one that I've done uh, for August. Um, Chelsea is focusing on Carla Magana, and so we actually have a Carla Magana page set up for August, but I think we might be coming back in here for September, October. We have a few books that we like to work into together, um, but I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> but this is Gothic Fantasy Special from Coloring Heaven, and all of the art is done by Enos Guerrero. This was a buddy color with my girl Tammy Colors too. We actually have a, a few set up. Uh, one, um, I believe, in one of the smaller portrait books from Hannah Lynn. And then Pixie, Tammy, and I have another uh, Hannah Lynn picture. I didn't get to either of those. But I did finish this one. I think Tammy's still working on hers. Uh, this one I did with you guys, or at least partially on camera, uh, talking about those deli crayons that Pixie had um, gifted to me for my birthday and so this is the completed page and again with the exception of crayon there is no other medium on here now it's not going to be my go-to just because um, I do prefer doing a base of water-based marker and then uh, either pencil on top of it or I might actually water-based marker and see how the deli crayons work on it because I haven't done that. But because the eerie pages are quite big, I think this is like a 10 by 10 book, um, I like to get rid of some of the white space that way and then just do some highlighting on top of it. But with all that said, I think this page looks really sweet. And considering there's only, what, 24 colors, uh, I think there's a lot of uh, depth of tone and interest on the page. Again, lighting source is never really a concern of mine unless I have something that I can reference. But otherwise, I try to be cognizant of how things would have cast shadows. But otherwise, yeah, I just, I want it to look interesting. Now, I was supposed to put down uh, something here. In fact, uh, I have some next to me so I can do that. But on this page, there's already flecks of things and they're coming off relatively easy. But until I color this page, I'm just gonna keep this little barrier in here. Of course, it's not the right size. Well, hopefully you guys can see that. But um, yeah, I don't wanna smudge this. I mean, worst case, I can always put, um, oh yeah, some of it's not coming off. Uh, I can just do water-based marker or I can do some paints in here. So I'm not, I don't think it's ruined or anything. It's just, it was something I wanted to be aware of uh, just because the, the lay down on this, uh, you can see that there's elements that can be lifted up. But that is my completed page out of this book. This is uh, Tracing a World History by Erie and this was a buddy color with my girl, Tammy.
This is the second to last book that I have uh, for you guys. This actually was a carryover buddy color with my girl Amanda from June. I actually didn't finish. I had started, but I didn't finish until July. And so we did this. This is uh, a buddy color with my girl Amanda Downey from Instagram. I'll link her page below. Um, whether hers is a public page or not, I'm not 100% sure. So if it isn't, you can reach out to her uh, to see um, if she she'll accept a friend request, but Amanda is amazing. Uh, but this is the page I did, and I kind of ran into problems with this page because I started with the background first, but I didn't have a plan. So uh, I didn't know the color of this griffin here, and uh, I didn't know the color of that. The trees are going to be brown and green because trees generally are for me. But then there's other bird type animal things owls and I think more griffins on here that I found super distracting so I just tried to make them dark and kind of recede <laughs> I don't know how well I did that um and by the time I had all of those elements done I'm like well this griffin dude needs to pop out and so that's why he's the color that he is just because I needed it to pop um off of the page based on everything else that was going on behind it and the trees were actually lighter than this since I really had to make them darker because they were kind of the same color as this uh, so I put layer on top of layer on top of layer so that there is a study in contrast I don't know that I 100% like this page just because I didn't have a direction and it shows but I think it's I think it's interesting it's just yeah, I, I see this and I can see, yeah, I didn't know what to do with these things. And so I did, I basically did nothing. And then I did this and then I needed to figure out how to do the rest of it. So yeah, it's, it's certainly not my worst attempt, <laughs> but I kind of lost my way and it, it, it shows. I think it's pretty, but yeah, it, it shows. And I do have a washi a border around it just to clean up the edges. I loved Amanda's rendition of this. And Amanda and Kate and I have a page uh, earmarked for August from uh, Mythographic Paradise. And so I am looking forward to that one as well. But this is Mythographic Odyssey, and the artwork is done by Joseph Kantenbaum. But I wanted to finish the video with this. This is a buddy color with my girl Doodle Robot here on YouTube. July was our birthday month, and so we decided uh, to do a two-page spread. And this is the page or the pages that I completed. And uh, I'm going to show you something. So in maybe about 50% of the pages that I completed this month, uh, one or more of these colors featured in there. And that's because I use these colors on this page right here. They've been sitting on my desk for most of July and now into August. And because they were right there, I decided to use them. <laughs> I did not have a plan and in some regards, I think it shows. I think I was able to kind of work around that. But when I was looking at this page, I didn't know how I was going to do the tile work because to me, that sets the tone for the rest of the page. And, <laughs> and, and some, some of the elements on here, I think work really, really well. And some of them I'm like, oh, you shouldn't have done that because I don't test anything. <laughs> so for instance, uh, this little squiggly thing right here is actually purple. A lot of this is done in alcohol marker and that's a really pretty purple. It's this one right here, light, light violet. But then I used my orange glaze pen and I didn't test it out beforehand on not even a small square like that or like that or something like that that's kind of uh, can be hidden. No, I, I used it right right in the middle so you could see it. I didn't know it was gonna do that. And I'm like, well, I'm committed now. <laughs> and a lot of the elements on the page, that's kind of how that was. It's like, oh, well, I've done that now. So I, I gotta keep doing that now. <laughs> and even this here, I'm like, should I make this tie in to this? So it recedes the color that it is right now. It absolutely stands out. And I thought, okay, well, now I need to bring in some yellow. 
originally these flowers were yellow but I'm like no then what are the birds going to be and so the birds are yellow and so it kind of brings your eyes up and down and I'm like okay well well that works well then what are the flowers going to be now well let's make them kind of tie into this but not really and then the butterflies by that point I'm like I hate birds and bugs why why don't I just black them out but then that would have been too jarring I got some of that um this here, it's Color Shift Black Flash. I had seen this on Doodle's channel, and so I ordered some from Amazon. That's what's done in the background there. And so it actually, it's not black. Uh, it's definitely metallic. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. To me, it it it's definitely dark depending on the light that it's in but it's more of like a really dark olive green and so because of that then when i got to the leaves i'm like well okay i need to tie in some of that tone because you've got some really bright tones very cool tones but then you've got some of the I don't know if it's a necessarily warm tone, but it's definitely darker than anything else on the page. Well, okay, so let's let's bring in some of these colors. And so it really was a all right, well, now you did that. So how do you how do you bring that up? How do you bring that up? How do you bring that out? And so the sky, the colors are done because there's blues and purples down here. The sky was done last. There are some mistakes here. Oh, not mistakes. I don't make mistakes. I create creatively. <laughs> But I used Distress Ink and a stencil and one of those like makeup brush type things and I didn't swirl it in and that was where it hit the page first and I'm like, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> because by the time I got to that, which was the very last element that I did, I was like, I have worked like a million and seven hours on this page and I loved doing it. I loved knowing that it was a buddy color with my girl uh, doodle it's the very first buddy color that we've been doing i've been wanting to do one for quite some time now so it made me happy to do this and i knew that this was going to be a long-term project but still it was just like oh, what are you doing with your life johanna seriously because it was looking so good and i'm like oh i shouldn't have done that I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? Okay. Well, how 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 am I going to I'm going to tackle this? How am I going to I'm going to bring things up and out and and then okay, it looks good. Oh, no, Johanna, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so, yeah. It's it, it it makes me smile looking at it because I think it's a very vibrant, beautiful page. But the internal struggle and the internal like seriously though maybe one time you could just have a plan maybe one time you could be a little bit more aware of your testing of things if you're going to test a medium on top of another medium that's already taken you hours to do maybe test it in a place where if you don't like it you're not committed to it because once I do something where it's visible yeah my brain's like well yeah you you pick this lane and there's no off ramp now, so <laughs> keep going. <laughs> but I love it. I love doing this. Uh, we actually, I think we're gonna do a buddy color in October or November or September. I know later this year, but it's in Serenaya. Uh, it's gonna be an alcohol marker work, I think, for both of us, and so it'll be relatively quick. Uh, last time I talked to Doodle, she had had about fifty percent of this page done. And that's fine. Uh, I cannot wait to see what she's done with this. I'm pretty sure it's going to be spectacular because Doodle has a plan. Doodle swatches things. Doodle has color combos before she starts a page, which I think is, I mean, it's certainly one way to do things. <laughs> or you can just uh, have chaos on a page and just figure things out as you go. But this was a lovely, lovely buddy color with uh, Doodle. I am so happy. And this will represent my 50th birthday forever and a day now because this is why I wanted to do this with her. But this is out of Spruk Jibus by Thomas Love Tomok. And that is the final page of this. If you're not interested in uh, me uh, going into my reference journal, then that's the end of the video. But stay tuned and let me go grab it. All right. So this is my reference journal. I am uh, 
tracking some things I want to focus on for this year. This is a Maisie Lane Co. A5 journal. I do have both my name and my channel name on here. And if you are new here, no, I do not know how to say my channel name because it's made up. No one, no one calls me this. Uh, people on Instagram and YouTube call me Jojo, uh, but no one in real life does, which is fine. Um, I don't mind it. Uh, it's just, yeah, Jojo, Jojo Zahena. Jojo Zahena? My name's Johanna, so <laughs> yeah. But let me get to my coloring book focus. Generally, I like to have this front section clipped together because I'm no, use, no longer using that section, but I actually need uh, that section for some other things, so that's why it's not clipped. But uh, this is my coloring book focus for the year, and so we're just gonna go through this together, and there's some other sections we'll go through together, and then the video will be done. So I did not color an opal page. Hmm. I did do a Zan Von Z. Oh, I don't. I don't think I did a Carla page, okay. I did a mythographic, the one. I did one in Erie. I did not do Joanna Basford. I did Reptiloids. I did Ikuko, several 10 by 10, and I did not do a hardback book, okay. I did Corey's Alphabet Challenge, and the way that I'm doing it, it's twofold. So I did the marker one, but I did not do the pencil one. Uh, I didn't post it to Instagram, but I have a page or, or two that could have counted towards Hello New Year. Hughes of 2022 is only on even months. I did do the random color generator. I did not do the one color challenge. Fantasy for time is 50th, yes. Pixies, Pixies Disney coloring, yes. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the manga page that I did, uh, the, the Not Broccoli one, that went towards Pixie's Disney coloring because it was a rabbit. Meg's ABC Color Challenge, that was a yes. Grogu in 2022, yes. Morgan O, Scavenger Hunt, Fairy Tales and Stories, and I did not get to coloring the Year of the Tiger, which is sad because that's my own hashtag. And then... Uh, this I still have yet to update because that's some of the information I need to bring forward, but I really didn't focus on this for this month. And let's see. So the mini block portraits I did do. It was that Atlantis guy. So I've got one in there. Gothic Compendium. I did do. Creatures of the Night. I'm gonna have to look. I don't know what that is, which is weird because I wrote this down. <laughs> oh, okay, I know what it is. I, I've already worked on this, but for August, because uh, it wasn't where all my other Coloring Heaven books was, so I, could, I couldn't for the life of me figure out what that was. Sorry, brain fart there. Uh, I did not work in Snuggle Pots and Cuddle Pie. Tour de Monde I did, so. That was my buddy color with Meg. Magic Mouse Summer, I did. Uh, Fairy Tale World and Around the World by Funo Yogawa, I did not. Dreams of Dragons, I did not. Entangled Landscapes, I did not. Fantasy Season, I did not. Mythographic Voyage, I did not. And Beale Sauvage, I did not. If you're wondering, uh, up and through the end of May, uh, this is a list of all of my uncolored coloring books and so it is a focus of mine to have at least one page colored in here uh, no later than the end of the year but I'm about a little more than halfway done with this list now, I'm not going to color pages just so I can check things off uh, I either color pages because I just I want to or it counts towards a prompt in the community and that's kind of how I, I tackle this right here and then I think that's it yeah so uh, the prompt for Olga for the next two weeks is Hedgehog. I did do the candles one. Uh, the monthly prompt, which is actually a summer prompt, it goes from June through August, uh, for Olga's finding color is Medusa. So I do have several pages and there's a few more that I'd like to work on. But I think, yeah, I think that's it for this. So making some good progress. 
and making some good progress here. I don't set um, monthly or annual goals. As you can see, I don't track the number of pages or the number of books. That's not really interesting to me, um, but I do want to focus on specific things and this just helps me track it. Plus, I like playing around in my journals. All right, guys, well, that's it for me for now. And as always, Allah.